Hey, hey. I have arrived. Where have you been? We've been waiting for an hour. Well, actually, uh, I was helping a friend with this new podcast. It's like this new technology. And uh, have you ever heard your voice on a podcast? I have. And I have a voice for radio. For radio. <laughs> so it was awesome. And I plugged the movie big time. So does this guy get a big audience? Yeah, it was an Overeaters podcast. So big audience. Well, now we're just waiting for Alan and Jeffrey. What are you talking about? Dan and I can move this. Get off. <laughs> Dan and I move it. Not with his back. Are you kidding me? No, oh, I got this. I can do it by myself. I got this table on sale, and it's perfect for all of our family get-togethers, but I need it moved into the dining room. So I asked the boys to come over and help me, and it seems like that getting them in the same room is a little more challenging and difficult than herding cats. All right. I am in the house. Ooh, table. Here we go. I'm sorry. You okay, Pete? Sorry. Well, there you are. Where have you been? <laughs> At the cinemas. Where? New Palestine? <laughs> <laughs> Mom. No. Uh, so, you know those people that get up in the middle of the movie and walk to the bathroom? Uh, I can't stand those people. Wouldn't you know it, nature called. It was my turn, and trust me, I'm never that guy. But today, I just could not hold it. I couldn't. So I went, squeezed the lemon, came back, totally confused by the movie, didn't make any sense, so I thought, why not buy another ticket? What? I'm sorry, was the movie any good? It's okay. <sighs> I thought you were supposed to be looking for a job. Dad, again with this, jobs. <laughs> Hello, the table. Don't we need Jeffrey? We can move it without him. <laughs> I have a wonderful story about moving tables. What is wrong with your voice? Cameron was on a podcast, and he thinks he's got a voice for the airwaves. I don't know about that. More like a voice for movie trailers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> coming this fall. No, no, no. It's like, coming this fall. Oh, one no. family. One family. And one two family. immature sons. Whew. Sorry for the delay. Make that three. Where have you been? Oh, I was just chatting it up with your neighbors. What? Come on, Dad. You never talk to your neighbors. Sure I do. Not when I lived here. Ooh. A rift between neighbors turns into a war. War. War within. I'm going to go move it myself. Wanted to share a little good news from the good book. Plant some seeds. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, Bill and Barbara were their names. No, Glenn and Deborah. Yeah, that's it. Both teachers. Amazing. <laughs> Anyways, so I was like, all right, you guys think you're pretty good teachers, huh? Well, I know somebody that's got you beat. I mean, beat bad. Beaten in spades. Like, y'all stink compared to him. He is the greatest teacher that has ever walked on this earth. Or on the water. Oh. Walked on water, walked oh, on water. Yeah. Yes. Walked on water. Oh, man. Not fire. But if you wanted. This is a story about a Christian film company. It just happens to be made up of members of my family my very talented, creative, and eccentric family. I'm proud to call them my real family. All right, everybody, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming on such short notice to this company meeting. And uh, we are here to discuss this lucrative investment that we've just received for The War Within and how we're putting that to use. So. We have scheduled some church showings around the state, most specifically at the Jefferson's Church. Great is thy faithfulness. Yeah. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. This is the air I breathe. Lovely song. And uh, we've also been expanding our marketing. Uh, secured some TV ads, some radio ads, and some online advertisements. The numbers are growing, but we're not quite where we need to be yet. So, that's why we need to be talking about today. This today is very, very important. You see, today at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the clock, we are going to be talking with Styles Velour face-to-face. -face. And we're going to be talking about the marketing strategies. So, Dad, once you take it from there, fill us in. So, uh... Styles says he's got a couple of men with deep pockets he wants to bring. Deep pockets? 
Guys with lots of money. In their deep pockets. Yes. Wow. So these two guys want to fund all of And Action Films' projects in the future. Yeah. And uh, so that's why we, get, we need to make a good impression today. I'm ready to finally meet this guy. Amen. Let me tell you, trying to sell this movie on social media, it's a lot like trying to sell windows door to door. People say, I've already got windows. Get lost. Diane, um, you're going to have that uh, presentation done before the meeting, right? I'm working on it, Cameron. Great. Way to give me some confidence. Um, Alan and I are going to be shooting some promotional teasers, so Alan, do you have all the gear loaded in the car like I asked you to do? No. Did you get the gear loaded in the car like I asked? No? Well, I guess I gotta do everything myself. Well, I did ask you to do it first, so... Well, I was, um... I, uh, was cranking on storyboards. Those will not match my shot diagrams, so congratulations. Those shot diagrams won't match my... Genius. Are you talking? Shut up! Got that? Yep. I'm so glad that you found a job, sweetie. Me too. I think it was God's plan all along, actually. Well, I sure hope that Alan finds one. I'm sure you will. Well, um... Anyway, I was thinking, now that we've moved out of our apartment and bought a house, um, I was thinking maybe you could come over and help us decorate. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I have big plans. Oh, really? Already? Yep. You haven't even seen the house yet. Big plans. Now, contrary to popular opinion, filmmakers don't spend all of their time making movies. I know, that might come as a shock, but actually we spend most of our time trying to get people to watch our films and our movies and videos. And that makes one of us. People what? are lining up always to see my movies. They cry tears of joy before and tears of sadness after. So... <laughs> Is that because they're that bad? No. It's because they're begging for more. Sure they are, Alan. Okay, yep, definitely feeling good about this lighting. Are you sure? That is awesome. Feels a little yep. flat to me. What? I don't know, I think if we just did something a little bit more dramatic, you know, with the lines across the middle of their faces, like Two-Face, Two-Face it up. I think that'll be a terrible idea. Um, let it slide, beginner's mistakes. Anyway. I'm not a beginner. Excuse me, I'm not a beginner. Not a beginner. It's okay. Ace my lighting course. It's so. okay. Just get over it. Uh, I, we're going to be using a teleprompter today. I want awards for things. And uh, this is on a tablet, not which is nifty stuff. I'm an expert. So we'll be using I, that. I don't think we'll actually need the prompter, Cameron. Why is that? Um, because actors, memorization. Actors. Yeah. You got the script memorized? I do. Oh, absolutely, I do. Okay. Absolutely, I do. Well, it's not just for you. Well, other people will be using this. Good point. Good point. I did email the script to the actors, so they okay. will have had time to prepare, memorize, that sort of thing. Yeah. So well, we're that's covered. your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm entitled to it. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> hey, Diane. Hey. Hey, pops. You guys need some help? Hey, you know? some creativity? Don't interrupt. Huh? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Feeling it, feeling it. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Good idea. A beer if you could. <sighs> oh, the yaw thing. He used to say that to us as kids. He used to say it to the dog, too. So what's that supposed to make you feel like? I mean, it's not like we're cattle. Ah, it's Chef Sue. Hello, Jeffrey. <laughs> Maybe you need a Sue Chef. Assistance, me. No, I, can I try don't that. think so. I'm good. Bam. Everything's in the oven. I can do it. Yeah. We're all ready to go. Yeah. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Catch you later. Yeah. All right. See ya. <laughs> what? No. Okay. Be outside. There they are. <laughs> All right, you made it. Uh, wow, good to see you, good good to see you guys. Welcome. Bring it in. <laughs> I haven't seen you guys since we were at production. I What's know. going on? Oh, it's, it's going amazing. Going great. Going Have never really been good. better. I'm um, so good. Down to a few things, I mean, but we're you know, both really good. Cranking out amazing. projects. Let's get but this show on the road. All righty then. <laughs> so good. Every time. Yep. Uh, this is uh, Van and yep. my uncle Alan. Um, both in the production of The War Within. Yep. Um, no introduction needed here, guys. Alan, director of the shoot, welcome aboard. 
That's Thank cute. Uh, not this shoot. Well, if I'm not directing, then who is? Camera crew? <laughs> no offense. <clears throat> I am. What? All right, you no. two, now listen to me. There can only be one in charge. A sheriff and a deputy. Thanks, <laughs> Uncle Barney. Barney Five. <laughs> uh, I'll be the sheriff. Impressions. Because I'm directing. I was named after my Uncle Alan. Isn't he great? <laughs> he does impressions. Funny guy. Funny. Um, big role model of mine. Always has been. So what about your dad? Him too. So here are the lines. Uh, look, look it over. Um, Pretty simple stuff, guys. Shouldn't be too difficult. Um, but we also have a teleprompter. So oh, well, uh, you know what? Teleprompter, it's cool. He's a good man. <laughs> Van. Now Van, remember when we shot the movie? You had to learn those lines. Memorize them. You know, so I don't think it's too much to ask that you learn them again, huh? Alan. Stop. Alan. Uh, this is a promo video, not a film. Uncle Alan, uh, feeling a lot of emotion out of you in this scene. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, uh, so if you feel led to cry, cry. Can do. Okay. What kind of character you want me to do? Can you do Gregory Peck? No. No, no. Gregory Peck. No, Gregory. Gregory. No, no Peck. Well. He's dead. Okay. Between you and me, I don't know how we got that movie done in the time we did. It was, it was an act of God. Real. Boys, am I right? They're cute when they fight. <laughs> Yeppers. And that's way too dark, buddy. Oh, it looks majestic, actually. Take off your sunglasses. Oh. Right you are, sir. I think Cameron is being a little unfair, though. I mean, Alan looks more like a director to me. Because he's wearing a director's outfit. That doesn't mean he's in charge. Cameron directed The War Within. Well, I, Alan co-directed. I mean, and plus he's done like a ton of short films. Uh, short films are not feature films. So? <laughs> uh, Alan. Yes. No, Alan. Yes. Yes. Will you stop? Yep. Stop it. Okay. Did you get my director's chair? No, I did not get your director's chair. You borrowed it last, though. That would be at my house. And I asked you to bring... This is your house. Well... We are in your house. Quiet on set, I need... Quiet on set, don't we have speed? Okay, Roll stop. Record. No more. No more. You're done. Come here. Okay, we okay. are looking good, guys. Looking great. Rolling. Rolling. And I have speed. We have speed. Okay, you guys know your you know what you're doing here? You guys you guys know you got your directions? Okay, here okay, we good. go. Start the teleprompter. Start the cheating machine. And, and action. action. Hey, I'm Van McGuire and I play Ray in the movie The War Within. And I'm Alan Spunberg and I play Mind in the War Within. And cut. Cut print. No, wait, what? Yeah, take five. Take no, five. we're not we're gonna That's do good. another no, one. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh yeah, we all got What is do. happening? What is do not go in there. Woo! What? I think it's going well. Oh no, Styles isn't coming. What? Uh, you mean I slaved over that ham meal for nothing? Oh, Jeffrey will eat it. No, I'm sorry, he's disappeared. Okie doke, guys. That is a wrap. Mm. Great job. I really appreciate it. All right. More than you know. Thank you. No problem. Does that mean you guys are done? Uh, you're done. Uh, Alan and I still have to do our show. So. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Oh. Cam and I are a great team. We, we got this, so it's yeah. all good. Oh. Sorry? Yep. Styles isn't going to make it. What? What does that mean? Hey, you know what, guys? I'll let you guys handle whatever that is. I gotta go. Okay. Me too. Duty calls. <laughs> what a riot. Bye. Take care, guys. All Take right, care. See, see ya. ya. Bye. Yeah. See ya. Still gotta get that shot. Yeah, we do. You know what? We can do this. Yeah. Cameron? What's this? Cameron. Okay. You're, you're the director. Yep. You I'm got doing this. doing that, though. Oh, you look better with, with the hat on. Let's use the prompter, use the flat lighting mm -hmm. that you chose, and let's do what we do best. Pretend. Mm -hmm. 
So you really want me to direct. Who was I kidding? Yeah. I didn't even read the script you sent me last week. There you go. I walked into this totally blind. There it is. I thought I could George Lucas this whole thing and yeah. wing it. And you did. But I was wrong. I was wrong. Cameron, you're the director. I just wish your name was James. Got it. James Cameron. Well, we got it. He's a director. No, to the right now. Alan. To the right. Boys, get in here. It's Styles. Oh. oh, hey guys, what's cooking? What happened? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, I'm sorry, but didn't you tell us you were gonna bring some deep pockets to meet us tonight? Oh, yeah, 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 the deep pockets, the deep pockets. Uh, listen, they had to fly to Bermuda because they were closing on a condominium, some type of a structure that they were selling. Uh, anyway, deep super deep pockets, and uh, they wanted me to let you know that they're super impressed with you guys. They want to sink half a mil into your next film project. Oh. <laughs> yeah, are you serious? serious? We did it. We did it. We're going to be rich. Us? Like, yeah. our film. Yeah, uh, no doubt about it. Rich, uh, beyond all of our wildest imaginations. Hey, listen to this. Their company, they've got a new 360 degree immersive viewing experience and they're gonna make your film uh, the next user of that tech. I don't even know what that is. Wow, we are so privileged. Can you be ready in two weeks? <laughs> I don't know, let me think about that. Yeah! I don't have a job, so. Heads up. Yeah. No, we no, we, we don't even have a script, Cameron. Well, we can shoot. Oh, a script. Styles, what about the new social media stuff you told us about? Oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. the secret sauce, the awesome sauce, the secret awesome sauce. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, they've already got the funnels and the gatekeepers all in place, and we're just nuancing all of the extremities and bringing them from the periphery into a more oh, centrifugal uh, status. The, the what? The secret sauce, Dad. Made, by, made by gatekeepers. That's right, made by so. gatekeepers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hey, my guys know what they're doing. Uh -huh. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you'll see an initial boost of sales you know, of about uh, 500,000 in the first week, and then we're projecting trickle down to about 80,000 in the weeks following, and then anywhere from 40 to 45 euros or zim. Depending. Wait, what? It, where did you get that number, Styles? Hey, they put a website together for my sister, and she makes 80 grand a month selling powdered milk. Wow. Powdered milk. Yeah. Oh my goodness. How, how is this money generated? Uh, my team is going to target ads for your movie to people who buy Christian films. What ads? You know. We more, haven't seen any ads. bang for the buck. Did you see any ads? Not I didn't see any ads. Any new we ones? Those to you. No. no. Diane? No. No? You sure? In the spam folder? Hey, I got to cut this short. Uh, the... I gotta call the president of Tunisia and square away a couple of things with him. So uh, I'll talk later. No, wait, we, we don't. He's gone. Funnels. Sauce. Can you believe it? What does that mean? I don't know. It just happened. Do you guys have any idea what he's talking about? We're going to be rich. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not. Ooh. Dad, secret sauce. Didn't you know? I'd be about my father's bee's knees. But your Menace. father is retired. I, I think he's referencing Luke chapter 2, uh, which is, that's what Jesus said, correct? Yes. Oh, right, right. Exactly. Okay. You guys seemed a little busy, so I'd, got, I'd go over and talk to your neighbors, uh, Mike, Mike and Peggy. Yeah. Nope. Uh, that's Glenn and Deborah. Oh, yeah, that's it. Glenn and Deborah. So I just thought, you know what? Let me go over there and turn on the sprinkler. You know, water the seeds a little bit, see what happens, and guess what? What? Don't guess. I'm going to tell you. The Lord did his thing, stole the show, gave the increase, rocked the house, brought down the roof, you know. So did they get saved? Yes. All right. All right. All right. Yes. Super duper. Preach wow. it, Jeffrey. Oh. You mean Pastor Jeffrey Allen. Hmm. That's why we made the movie, right, honey? Guys, the gospel. 
secret sauce. The gospel is the secret sauce. I mean, am I right? Am I right? Or am I right? Yes? So what are the funnels? Um... So we combine the most powerful medium of our age, film, with the most powerful message ever told, the gospel, in order to reach the world for Jesus Christ. Why do we do this? Because the Bible commands us to be His witnesses to the ends of the earth. And that's why we're so focused on raising money for this film, so we could change the world. But Pastor Jeffrey just reminded us that before we're commanded to be His witnesses to the ends of the earth, we're commanded to be His witnesses in our own Jerusalem. Namely, my neighbors, Greg and Betsy. Glenn and Deborah. You remembered. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you came to my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Save us! You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My dead to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high.